Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about the Huda Beauty Foundation. I know, I know. <laughs> I am so late to trying this foundation out. It is, it's ridiculous to be honest. But I've always had it in my Sephora cart and I never checked out with it. Like I've always saved it, put it back, saved it, put it back. And finally I had that VIB Rouge sale for 15% off. So I went ahead and picked it up to test out for you guys. I know a few of you have asked me along the way, <laughs> it's been a while, to try this out. So hopefully you are still interested in it. I don't know, I have like combination oily skin, so I'm like kind of dry in the morning and then I'll get oily throughout the day, especially through my T-zone. So I don't know, I'm hoping this one works for me. So if you guys see how this foundation applied and more throughout the day, then just please keep watching. All right guys, so getting started, of course, today is gonna be all about the Huda Beauty foundation. I have to say I am beyond late on trying this foundation, but I've, I don't know, I've just never, really gravitated towards it, but I've been trying out a bunch of new foundations lately, and I've been obsessed with a few, I haven't liked a few, so I'm trying to like, you know, trying, trying to find that perfect foundation, which is really freaking hard to do, and it's really expensive, to be honest, <laughs> but I am just, I have a ton sitting right here, and just looking at them, I feel like 99% of the time, I end up mixing two, maybe even three, to get like what I'm wanting, so hopefully, maybe, my face will like this, and we'll give it a go. I have to say, I do really like this packaging though, like the ombre down at the bottom is super pretty. And I got mine in the shade Angel Food. So this is what the packaging looks like, I'm sure you have all seen this many times. <laughs> but I have to say, I do love the packaging, I like the ombre, it's like, it is like a plasticky kind of feel, but it still has a nice weight to it where it doesn't feel like super, super cheap. I like this packaging, I don't know, I'm not mad at it. So now on to all of the claims. I do have it pulled up on Sephora. It does retail for $40, so it is more on the pricey side, of course. <laughs> and it does come in 30 shades. I will say there are a lot of tan shades that we're looking at right here, but they do have quite a few deep shades too, so not mad about that. So on the details, it does say full coverage for normal dry combination and oily skin. It has a natural finish. So it says a full coverage cream foundation that visibly conceals blemishes and imperfections for a filter-like finish. Well, we're all really kind of rooting for that, so I'm hoping this works. <laughs> so what it does. So it's packed with a high percentage of ultra-refined pigments. The Fill Filter Foundation visibly smooths and even skin texture, diminishing the appearance of blemishes, scars, hyperpigmentation, and redness to create a flawless airbrushed finish, enriched with argan oil and centella ascentana. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to say that word because I have no idea. Both known for their hydrating properties, which is nice. This fade-proof formula blends seamlessly with skin, leaving it matte, with a hint of a sheen for a luminous appearance. So it's matte, but it's luminous. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Wear it alone for full coverage or blend it together with the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base Primer. Holy shitsies. That is a long name. Hold on, let me do that again. Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base Primer. Sold separately, of course for an even more natural finish. So suggested use is, first apply the, okay, yes, her primer, and using a dime size amount or less, dip the Huda Beauty Buff and Blend Synthetic Brush, sold separately, don't have that, <laughs> into the foundation, and apply the skin using circular and dabbing motions. Whew, okay, that's a lot of information for like, three minutes. <laughs> But now I will say, this does have 1.18 fluid ounces, so it is more than like the standard amount. And it does have a pump. <laughs> now I'm hoping this shade is decent. Ooh. That is really light, and it's a little bit more on the yellow to kind of neutral, but I like a little bit more of a neutral foundation than I do going for a pink, even though I have more pink tones in my skin, because my face ends up looking too pink. You know, I have a lot of redness in my skin, and I like to kind of cancel that out with like a neutral foundation. This one looks pretty yellow though, so luckily we have like a high color shirt on today. <laughs> I will say I've gotten so many questions and just sweet comments about this top. It's actually from Rosie Days, which is Casey Holmes' little boutique, and it is so cute. I'll have a link down below because she has some really good stuff on there. She's doing good with that. So I did already wash moisturize and I did prime my face. Of course, I use the CoverFX Anti-Acne Mattifying Primer because it is the best Holy grail, use it every single day. I can't use anything else, okay? It's the only thing that keeps my skin decent. And right now it is kind of that time, of course. So I do have a few blemishes, but nothing crazy like I normally would. And I've actually been obsessed with this. So this is the Flower Beauty Stick Foundation. I did a review on it. I'll link it down below for you if you haven't seen it. 
But this primer, you guys, literally smooths out your skin so, so much. And I love it. I have been obsessed with it. It doesn't break me out. And I will say, it does a good job at smoothing the skin. And also just like, it doesn't really fill the pores, but it helps just conceal and kind of smooth them. You know what I mean? So it's not like a pore filling primer, but it does good at just smoothing out your skin and giving you like a really good just base layer. I've been really, really obsessed with that lately. Just saying. So now on to the actual foundation. I'm going to use a brush on this side. I'm going to use a sponge on this side. Y'all know I always end up loving the sponge more. I just, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. Brushes just don't do it for me. But this one right here is the Peach and Pearl and Andrea Renee collab. I have to say, I'll link her channel down below. She's so cute. I love her videos. But she's gorgeous. Not just cute, okay. <laughs> but this brush is probably the best foundation brush. It reminds me of the Sigma. F80, but it's a little smaller and a little more dense, and I am obsessed with it. It just does a really good job at just putting on foundation, blending it out. It just, it's a beautiful foundation brush. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with just one pump, and we're going to see how far this goes. Oh, it looks super light. <laughs> Maybe it oxidizes a little bit. Okay, so i got a good amount on here. <sighs> oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what does that remind me of? Okay, yeah, this is going a really long way. <laughs> I feel like I have way too much on my face. <laughs> um, one, it is crazy crazy light for me <laughs> oh my gosh y'all we just started this video and it's already a hot mess ah <sighs> story of my life okay i have to say already i'm not liking it with a sponge because it looks it looks pretty with a sponge with a brush i don't know it just looks pretty heavy it's not horrible but it could be better you know what i mean dang we're going to have to bronze today, y'all. I'm just going to kind of blend this out with a sponge. Ooh, it does dry pretty quick, too. Ah! I just really want to blend it out with a sponge because it, it left a little bit of a, I don't know, like a textured look on my skin. I will say a little bit of product goes a really long way. <laughs> So I'll say I covered about one and a half of my face <laughs> with one pump. So I'm going to do like a half pump. Maybe a little bit more than a half pump. Whoops. I will say the coverage on this foundation is pretty crazy. I mean, that's pretty crazy if you ask me. Now, I know, try not to look at the color as much <laughs> because, honestly, it looks, it does look flawless on the skin. I do need to fix my nose a little bit. Hold on. So, I know I'm looking crazy. The shade is a little too pale for me, but that's okay. I might just need to exchange it for, like, one or two more shades up, but I'm not mad at it. It has a really, like, high medium to full coverage. It covered, like, all of my redness, just everything, and it doesn't look too bad around my nose. I do just have to try and fix it. Because I had a little too much. <laughs> but I have to say, like, it's not that bad. Okay. I have to say, other than just kind of, like, fixing the crease in my nose, everything else looks amazing. Like, even my forehead right now. And keep in mind, my skin is super, super dry right now for whatever reason. I don't know what it's doing. I normally have, like, super crazy oily skin. And right now, it's really, really dry. So, for my face to, like, my skin to be this dry and it looks this good, I'm actually surprised. And I will say, it does set really, really quickly. If you have really dry skin, you probably wouldn't need to set this with a powder. I always set my face with a powder because I am combination, so I get oily throughout the day. But I'm not mad at it. So I am really excited to see how this wears throughout the day. Right now, it is a little bit later. It is 10.45. It's a little late for me normally doing check-ins. So I'll try and keep it on at least until 10, maybe 11 tonight. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. 
Alright guys, so makeup is finished. I have to say, everything applied so just easy and so beautiful on top of this foundation. I did powder a little bit using the Laura Mercier powder, of course, my everyday favorite powder ever. <laughs> but I have to say, I don't know, I'm really liking the way everything's looking right now. Like it, I don't know, it just looks so smooth. Let me zoom you in. So again, this is what it's looking like up close and personal. <laughs> I am really, really liking the way it's looking so far. Honestly, I feel like the color kind of is still a little too light for me, but it did. It doesn't look too horrible, you know what I mean? Like, it's not too crazy. It does just look a little heavy. That's the only thing I'm going to say about it is you can definitely tell you have a full coverage foundation sitting on your face. It's just like, I don't know, you can just kind of see it, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're wearing makeup, but... It's just a little heavier than other foundations that I have tried, but I'm not mad at it. Like, it doesn't look bad. You can just see it. You know what I mean? But my pores don't look emphasized or anything like that. Everything just looks so pretty sitting on top of it. Your skin just looks smooth. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I have, like, no complaints right now, other than the fact that it just looks a little, just a little heavy. Like, a little on the heavy side. I have to say, too, I'm obsessed with this lip combo. combo. <laughs> Right now, this is the um, Casey Holmes and Palladio collab, but I mixed Georgia and Rescue. These two. <laughs> but I love them mixed together. I just feel like it makes the most beautiful color. Mm. <laughs> I've been sitting around playing with my makeup for two hours now, but I'm going to call the check-in time around 10.30, so I'll give you like, a good time to check back in later. So I'm going to go ahead and wear this throughout the day, and I'll see you in my next check-in. Hey, guys. I am... Whoa. That was a little intense. I'm back <laughs> doing a second check-in. Ooh, a lot of Instagram love. But it is now 4.40. <laughs> and again, I checked in, or it was my start time was 10.30, so it's been on for, what, six, six hours? So I will say we did just go watch that Infinity War movie, and I had a pickle and popcorn. Let me know if y'all like pickle and popcorn combination. I used to hate it, and now it's like I have to have, we always have to have a pickle and a popcorn. <laughs> Random. Okay. But point being, I did eat pickle, and it's a little much, so don't mind the chin or the nose because, you know, when you eat a huge pickle, you know what I mean? You know. Anyways. <laughs> so I just have to say, I'm feeling a little heavy. I think I look a little heavy, you know? Um, especially in between my brows, like my forehead area, it just looks a little heavy. Okay, so like I said, don't mind that. <laughs> No judgment. Also, my nose, because, like, when you, you know, like, I eat around the pickle first and then the center. That's just kind of how it goes. And that happened. So, don't mind that. But, like I said, it's just a little heavy on my forehead right here. You started to see, like, my pores and everything really come out. Um, right here, too. I feel like my pores are a little bit more emphasized than they were earlier. Honestly, I think if I, like, blotted and powdered, blot and powder. I feel like I do this every time. If I did a quick blot and then a powder, I feel like it would look better. But it is really, really heavy around my nose as well. I don't know if y'all can see that. Especially this side. Ooh. I have to say, though, the forehead up here still looks nice. It's not, like, broken up or weird or anything like that. And even down here, it hasn't worn off. It hasn't gotten any, you know, funky. So I just did a quick little blot and powder. I gotta say... Powdering didn't help much. <laughs> if anything, I feel like it kind of just caked it on a little bit more. And I don't know. On the places, I can't fix this. Okay, that's just, it's gone. Pickle juice just wiped it off. <laughs> but around my nose, it looks a little heavy. And same with around my forehead. I feel like my pores are just being like on blast right now. And I'm not liking it. So honestly, right now, mm, I'm not really feeling it. I feel like I would like this mixed in with like a more luminous or like light coverage foundation like the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea I feel like I like this mixed with or even like the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula but on its own right now I'm not loving it to be honest like I said it just looks a little heavy I feel like my pores are just like super super emphasized anyways I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep wearing it for a little bit longer we'll see how long I can actually keep this on because honestly I mean, it doesn't feel heavy. Like, I really don't feel like I have anything on my skin, which is really crazy because of how heavy it actually looks. But I'm going to keep wearing it. We'll see how long. I don't know. Again, it's like almost 5 o'clock. So we'll see if I can keep it on another 4 to 5 hours. But I will see you in my next check-in. All right, guys. It is now 7 o'clock, and I'm just ready to kind of wipe off my face. It's been, how long is that now? 
So it's been on for about nine hours now. Eh, ish. <laughs> but I'm just ready to take it off. No real problems or anything, honestly. Since the last time I checked in, it hasn't changed like at all, except for the fact that I was like falling asleep in my chair. So, you know. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, honestly, it just got a little heavy. That's all I can really complain about. I feel like I would love this mix again with like a lighter coverage foundation that's a little bit more like on the luminous side. But I mean, really, I have no really bad complaints. I feel like it is a really pretty foundation. It doesn't last through eating very well, but that's just me because I was stuck in my face. <laughs> so no judgment. I'm sorry if y'all can hear the office playing in the background. That's just my life. <laughs> Take me or leave me. But I don't know. Let me zoom you in. So like I said, I feel like I'm looking pretty much the same. Honestly, for nine hours almost nine hours. I feel like it has lasted pretty freaking well except for the fact that I scratched the crap out of my nose and again sucked my face at the movies so no judgment. <laughs> Other than that it is a beautiful foundation. I have no really like major complaints on it. I just you know it's a little heavy a little on the heavy side and again just you know just minor foundation things that happen with a lot of foundations for me, especially for this being like a really matte foundation. I feel like it is more of like one of the prettier ones. But I am going to try this mix with a few other ones. Let me know if y'all have tried it down below and if y'all have mixed it with something because that's what I'm curious on. I always love mixing foundations and I feel like I'm going to like it with the Tarte Shape Tape. No, Shape Tape, please. The Rainforest of the Sea foundation from Tarte because I love mixing this one with the Pro Matte from L'Oreal. So... Maybe I'll like these two. The earrings are off. You know what that means. I'm done for the day. <laughs> but that's going to be the end of this video, you guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Also, make sure you leave me a comment down below if you have tried this because I am so late. Let us all know your shade, what you think of it. If you've tried mixing it, let us know all your info down below. It really helps everybody out. I love seeing when y'all guys, like, you know, reply back to each other. We're such a fun little community. <laughs> Other than that, make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too just to miss further uploads from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Don't mind me. Just having a Rocher. Hey, I had a little nubbin. These little guys.